bigger than they would have expected on Saturday afternoon. Swindon know their very existence to St Mark's Church. Just 100 years ago, the Reverend William Baker Pitt, an assistant curate, formed Swindon Spartans, later to become Swindon Town. Today's vicar, the Reverend Rex Hurrell, does not oppose Sunday soccer. Yesterday's game certainly brought many new faces and more wives and children, according to reports from the county ground. The rail strike prevented some regulars attending. The Sunday observance laws meant fans bought their usual 35 pence programme, then paid full admission price on a separate team sheet to get into the match. The attendance was just over 5,600, better than Swindon expected after going 11 matches without a win. Goalkeeper Jimmy Allen, who was a Sunday school teacher at the Elim Pentecostal Church, agreed to play. He does not favour Sunday soccer and even refused to play on Sundays during the three-day week emergency eight years ago. Despite those early saves by Allen, Swindon did most of the attacking to please their Sunday fans. But they weren't so pleased when Tony Kello crossed for a goal by Martin Rogers. Swindon's equaliser came four minutes before half-time when Paul Rideout turned to score with a low shot. Just the tonic Swindon needed before the interval. Swindon kept up the pressure with a shot from fullback Kevin Badley before taking the lead through skipper Roy Carter, 18 minutes from the end. But they held the lead for less than a minute. Dave Puller takes advantage of a mistake by right back Charlie Henry to put Exeter back on level terms. Swindon's luck changed in the last minute. Appeals for a penalty were rejected, but a free kick just outside the area brings a corner. Henry heads against the crossbar, but Baddeley forces the rebound into the net for the winning goal. And incredibly, that was Swindon's first league win for 15 weeks. Their first since they beat the Rovers 4-1 at Eastfield back in October. What a change round since then. Well, that win put Swindon top of the table. Now it's Rovers who believe they have a chance of promotion.